Hey, I'm Sebastian and this is the YouTube channel of Cyber Casual, where you get the best insight and knowledge of cross reality and artificial intelligence. And it's a recommendation again, a VR app recommendation, a recommendation, what a nice word. And this one is pretty cool because you can travel the world for free in less than an hour. How cool is that? <laughs> and besides that, you can do so much more things. You can see places where you probably never have been before. You can see animals and the wild nature and you can use it if you're just curious about the world or if you are a teacher and you want to show your students places from your actual lesson direct in front of their faces. Basically you can do anything, you can do everything which you can also see on the Discovery TV channel and <laughs> yeah this is the Discovery VR app. I don't want to waste your precious time and jump right into the VR. Follow me. So as always, let's check the details first. The rating, of course, around four, as always. The level is comfortable and for more than 30 years, Discovery has told stories like no one else transporting you to places you didn't know existed and spawning through there every turn. And now, they are available. Yeah, now we enter a new chapter. Virtual reality can take you to new worlds like never before, immersing you in time, space and story. And that is what virtual reality is all about. How cool is that? And if you think of schools, there are so many possibilities to use not only this particular app, but so many other apps. But let's start the game. So here you can see the D. Who wants the D? DVR Discovery VR loading screen. A nice one. And it's a little bit laggy while I'm streaming, I think. Yeah. So, but anyway, here is the main menu. We are on the moon, I think. Maybe on the Mars. No, I don't know. Never have been there before. And you can drag your videos into the watch later or continue watching uh, places and also the Mythbusters are already um, here with some experiences. There's the editor's pick, there's the popular stuff which you can join, for example, Journey to the Edge of the Space, which is which sounds very nice. And you get the categories here, Thrills and Adventure, or Science and Innovation, Nature and Wildlife, Motor, Lifestyle, Crime and Investigation, Travel, Our World, stuff like that but here the most recent and I know that on the second page is the discovery VR Atlas travel the far reaches of the world and this is what I want to show you today out of this application so we have Hawaii we have I think this is Hawaii as well yeah we got uh, Japan 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 uh, we have some European stuff here Italy Ireland, I think this is Ireland as well, England, Venice, but let's, uh, what is the coolest place here, let's say, to be honest, I've never been in Japan before, so let's try this out, 900 megabytes, um, if you want, or if we want to download it, but I'm trying to stream it first, because I think the internet connection is pretty pretty strong at the moment. There are not so many people <laughs> at this time, early morning in the office, so let's try this out. Okay. Time lapses. Time lapses. Anyway. And defined by contradictions. Oh yeah. Konnichiwa, my friend. For 30,000 years, Abundant fresh water has oh. made these islands an ideal home for humans. A wasabi farm, how cool is that? I love wasabi. And many other curious creatures. Wow, that's cool. Ooh, are those apes? Yeah. <laughs> to 
Japan's lush, rugged landscape shaped its combative history. So cool. The katana was the weapon of choice for samurai warriors. A katana sword. This master swordsmith and his apprentices preserved the traditional method of creating these beautiful blades. Oh, yeah. There you go. While stumps what? recreate the legendary sword battles of the past. <laughs> Do you know these Japanese movies where... <laughs> up to you. The samurai faded into history. Whoa. As sumo wrestlers fight on. According to Shinto tradition, their giant steps... <laughs> he's are he's doing some pull-ups. Push-ups. Nice. Yeah. Most acts of faith are far less combative. The monks of Enkoji in Kyoto have recited prayers at this temple for over a millennium. I, I don't know what to say. Japan is so cool. This is the world's largest bronze Buddha statue. Wow, nice building. While an ancient culture shaped this nation, I don't get the point of this time lapses. Why are there so many time lapses? I mean, time lapses are not cool anymore. She Tokyo. The world's most populous metropolitan region is home to over 36 million people. <laughs> There's something amazing to see in every direction. How many people? In the incomparable fashion, to the cutting edge technology, the city never stops moving. Japan is steeped in history. But exemplifies modernity. Wow. Japan reveres the serenity of nature. So many people. Always. So many people. But embraces the stimulation of cities. Japan created the quiet grace of dancing Maiko. Aha! And the bombastic noise of J-pop. <laughs> J-pop is something is I don't understand, to be honest. A place that is contemplative and chaotic. Full of graceful finesse ah. and frantic activity. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are they doing? It's a place unlike what was that? Else on Earth. Did they make bread? Started it. Japan. And now I can direct jump into Hawaii. How cool is that? I mean, where are you? <laughs> hey. So, another time lapse, of course. Always time lapses. Always time lapses. Hawaii's cool place.
think we can end this here because we have seen most of it. Whew. So, Ooh. I was I look like I probably was um, floating around a little bit. And <laughs> you most of the time saw my back head maybe. No, to be honest, um, the discovery we are up. Um, as you can see, it is just a platform for the discovery VR experiences, which are already existing. I mean, like, those are not VR experiences, we know that. There's only 360 degrees experiences. We have done the depth of virtual reality model before. And a full VR immersion is something different, but that's uh, that only as a side note. But it is cool to see those content and I think the discovery team made a quite good job because as I said at the beginning you can use those experiences for so many things I mean I'm always thinking in like school because um, I mean in Europe we have good schools but not that much technology in schools um, we still writing on sharp boards and stuff like that, but you can use virtual reality in schools, you can use mixed reality in schools, you can use augmented reality, you can all the cross reality technology use in school to enhance the learning, to um, increase the process probably. And this one is a great example. For example, if you are in the geography classes or in the history classes or in biology classes, you can use those medium as yeah, as a mediator maybe, or as another tool to show the students, the pupils, how cool the world is and how it actually uh, looks like there in real, not like in books uh, or in movies or yeah, you can immerse right in. And this is one cool thing. <clears throat> and I think the discovery of VR app is not the state of the art, but something with very much content. And I can now tell you something different about the content of the specific experiences inside the discovery VR app. But I mean, it's like my personal taste. I didn't like the the time lapses because I think time lapses are the time is over of time lapses. <laughs> And um, these are just simple 360 degree videos and it's pretty hard to um, produce some interactive videos and the Discovery app is released in 2016, 17, Discovery VR 17 probably. Um, so it's not, of course, not that newest. But anyway, there are so many advantages for it and this this was the reason why I wanted to show you this one. And if you want to show your parents, your grandparents, your, I don't know, colleagues, anyway, any persons, some VR experiences, and you want to um, convince them for virtual reality, then you can show definitely this one to show, look, you can travel the world without a, without a penny and with only a short amount of time. So. Let's spread the word. Let's spread the word. Let's spread the cross reality stuff around the world, around the schools and all the world and everywhere, hopefully. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. If it was your first video you've watched, thanks a lot. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will upload weekly videos about the cross reality and artificial intelligence. And if you are already subscribed, thanks a lot for watching me again. And if you want to become a Patreon, if you want to become a team member, if you want to have access to the inner circle, make sure to check the Patreon site and become a Patreon as well. Besides that, of course, you can find me on all social media platforms. I don't want to waste your time at this. So let's see you next week. Bye bye. Tschüss.